Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be reviewing numbers on a number line. Okay, you will do your checkpoint quiz、um, right after we review together. Okay, so number one says fill in the missing numbers on these open number lines. Okay, so this is a number line,、um, and it's open. We have a missing number here. So I see the number zero. We always start our number lines with zero, and we end with ten. Okay, so what is halfway from zero to ten? Do we know that answer? It is five. Good job. And you can always write your numbers out if you need to. Right? We know this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. I know there's five on this side, and five on this side. So halfway to ten is five. That's how I can、um, figure that answer out. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna fill in these open number lines now. So again, we start with zero, and our end number on our line is twenty. Okay, so what is halfway to twenty? Do we know that answer? Halfway to twenty would be ten. Just like if we were counting by tens, we would go zero, ten, twenty, and what would be the next number? Thirty. Good job. Okay, so we're looking at B now.、Um, we're looking at zero to one hundred. What is halfway to one hundred? Fifty. Good job. Good job. And we've been working with number lines to a hundred. Um. So you should know halfway to a hundred. But if we don't, that's okay. All right. Um. We will do our best to learn. Uh. We're looking at C. We have ten. Is our start number okay? It's not zero anymore. Now our ending number on our number line is twenty. So what is halfway from ten to twenty? Do we know that answer? Let's write out our dots like we did on the first one. So here we have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So how many dots do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten in between. So we need to split this in half. So what would be the first half? It would go to fifteen. Would be right here. Good job. Okay. And our very last one it has a it has more open spots. Um. So it looks like we are counting by tens for this number line. So if we are counting by tens, let's look at zero. What would be our next number? Ten. Good job. Zero. Ten. Twenty. What would be? What would come next? Thirty. Good job. My three is a little wonky, but you guys know it's a thirty. And what's our last one? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Good job. Good job. Let me write that in there. Okay. We're moving on. You guys are doing a good job. Um, this number three says solve each addition problem. Show your work on the number lines. Okay. So we have to show our work. That's really important. So your teacher knows. Um, you're thinking how how we're doing our work. Um, we're looking at a. We have five plus four. So I'm gonna put my little dot on five. I know that's what we're starting with, and then we're adding. So our number's gonna get bigger. Okay. We're gonna add four. So that means little Tad. Pretend we have little Tad, our our Frogger jump on here. He's gonna jump four spots. One, two, three, and four. Where did I land? Nine. Good job. Nine is our correct answer. Okay, let's look at B. I'm gonna let you guys do this one at home, and you can use your fingers、um, on the screen if you want. But we're gonna start with three. We know that, and then we're adding how many? Seven. Okay, so we're gonna jump seven spots. Are you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Where did we land? Ten. Good job. So three plus seven equals ten. And if I know my math facts already, I don't have to use the number line, but I do have to on this because it told me I needed to show my work. Okay. You guys aren't doing this paper、um, at home. You're just doing it with me. But always remember when it tells you to show your work, you need to do that. Okay. Let's look at our very last one. We have forty plus thirty. It's a big number. So we're gonna start with forty. Here's my little dot. And how many are we adding? We're adding thirty, and I can see that my number line here is not counting by ones. What is it counting by? Tens. Good job. So we're jumping ten each time. Okay. So here we go. We need to jump thirty. Okay. So that's three groups of ten. So I'm going to jump three times. One, 
to three. And what was my answer? 70. Really good job. Really good job. We have a couple more, okay? All right, so numbers on the line, checkpoint. Number four, solve the subtraction problems on and show your work on the number line. So we're subtracting, so our number's just going to get smaller. So we're starting with nine, and we're subtracting four, okay? So our number's going to get smaller. We have to go this way. Ready? We're going to subtract four. Do it with me. One, two, three, four, and what was our answer? Five. Good job. And notice these number lines, these two, are counting by ones, okay? So we're just going backwards by ones, but sometimes our number line counts by fives, twos, or even tens, like this one down here. Okay, so B, 10 minus three. So I'm gonna start with 10 on my number line. Remember, we're subtracting, we're getting smaller. Ready, 10. There's one, two, and three. We subtracted three, what was our answer? Seven, good job. Okay, our very last one, big numbers here, okay? Notice our number line counts by tens. We start at 70, that's what we have, and we're gonna subtract 40. So do I go backwards 40 times? No, we're not counting by ones, okay? We're counting by tens, so we need four big jumps. Ready? One, two, three, and four. What was our answer? 30. Good job. And you guys, this will help you for your checkpoint you're about to complete after we watch the video, okay? All right, our next one, add and subtract on the number line. Um, we have the answer here. 50 plus 30 equals 80. Um, and we want to show that on the number line, okay? So here's 50. I'm putting my dot and we're adding 30. Okay, so do I jump 30 times? No, remember my number line is going by 10, so I only need to jump three times. Okay, so here we go. One, two, and three. Is that the correct answer? Yeah, good job. Okay, last one, I think. 80 minus 30 equals 50. And notice these are the same three numbers. That's the commutative property. If we flip-flop them, we still get the same answer. Okay, but this one's a subtraction, so our number's gonna get smaller. Here we go, 80, and we're gonna subtract 30. So again, that's three jumps, three groups of 10. Here we go, one, two, and three. Do we land on 50? We did, good job, good job. Okay, so this is optional. Um, if you wanna get your paper with out um, and do this with me, you're welcome to. It says at the bottom, you will not turn this page into your teacher. We're just gonna do it together. Okay, so you don't have to get your paper unless you want to. Um, if you do want to do it with me on your own, pause this video right now and go grab your book, okay? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so this is our student book, page 24. This is what yours looks like. You need to write this problem down, 30 plus 20. Okay, you need to write that down. That's what we're showing on the number line. And notice, both of these number lines are still counting by tens, okay? So here's 30. And are we adding or subtracting? Adding. We're adding 20, okay? So that's two groups of 10. That's what this two shows me. Two groups of 10. Ready? Two jumps. One, two. So what was my answer? 50. Good job. So you can write that on your paper if you want. Okay, 30 plus 20 equals 50. Good job. And our subtraction one down here, 50 minus 20. So we're going to get smaller. Here's 50 on our number line, and we need to subtract two groups of 10, just like before. Okay, so two jumps. One and two. What was our answer? 30 is our answer. Good job, you guys. Okay, I think this is the last one. Nope, there's two more. Three more. <laughs> okay, hang in with me. You guys can do it. Here's 50 plus 20. That's what you need to write on your paper if you're doing it with me. If not, um, we can just do it together. Here we go. 50. And we're adding how many? 20. We're adding two groups of 10. So here we go. One group of 10. Two groups of 10. What is that answer? 70. Good job. 50 plus 20 equals 70. Okay, um, our subtraction one, 70 minus 20. Do I know this answer already? I see these three numbers, it's 70, 20, and 50. So if I use that commutative property, I know 70 minus 20 
it has to equal 50, doesn't it? But we have to show our work. So let's go ahead and do that too, just to make sure our answer is right. 70, and we're subtracting 20, two groups of 10. One group of 10, two groups of 10, and we landed on 50. Yay, good job. Okay, two more, two more. Hang with me, okay? 40 plus 40, that's what you need to write right here. That's our equation. 40 plus 40. And do we know this answer so far? We might. If you guys know it, go ahead and write it. Or say it out loud to your learning coach. So 40 here. Okay? And we're adding four groups of 10 because it's 40. Here we go. One, two, three, four. What's my answer? 80. Good job. Okay, 80 right here. And then our subtraction problem. Do you guys see the pattern? You might. These, both of these numbers, boys and girls, you can use the commutative property. So 80 minus 40, what's that going to equal? It should equal 40, but let's check our answer. Okay, so here's 80. And this time we're going backwards, right? We're subtracting. Here's one group of 10. Ooh, sorry. Two groups of 10, three groups of 10, and four groups of 10. We subtracted equals 40. Good job. Very last one, promise. Very last one. 50 plus 40. So here's our 50. We're adding 40. So that's how many groups of 10? Four. Four jumps. Ready? One, two, three, and four. What's our answer? 90. Good job. Okay. And can I use a commutative property with this one too? Yes, I told you guys. 90 minus 40. What does that equal? 50. Okay, let's show our work just to make sure. We start at 90. And we subtract four groups of 10 again. Ready? One, two, three, and four. What did we land on? 50. Good. And notice these number lines are the same, aren't they? One was going this way because we're adding. And one was going this way because we're subtracting. Good job. It says, great job. You guys know you did a great job. It says, now you will complete a learning check. You click next to continue.